Every time you take a medication to combat your sickness, you are reaping a benefit from the efforts made by countless clinicians in the history of medicine. A classic example is the world's very first antibiotics, penicillin, which was discovered by Sir Alexander Fleming in 1929. Medications that doctors prescribe to you today have been tested in clinical trials before being approved for use. The number one basic requirement of all clinical trials is volunteer participation. A clinical trial is a medical research study in human volunteers to test a new drug or clinical device. Some clinical trials involve participation of the public to evaluate the safety and efficacy of new treatments. There are several phases in clinical trials where the drug is tested on a group of selected volunteers. The test results are evaluated and if successful, the drug will eventually be made available for use by patients. Researchers need data from healthy volunteers to answer questions about health and disease. For instance, does a potential new drug work better than existing treatments? Is there a more effective way to diagnose diseases and health problems at an earlier stage? And what drug dosages are recommended for consumption? Clinical trials are conducted in a highly controlled and specialised setting. SingHealth IMU is a dedicated early phase clinical research unit located in Singapore General Hospital. IMU's projects are supported by a team of dedicated staff trained in Singapore guidelines to good clinical practice and fully qualified specialist nurses. Early phase trials involve testing small doses in healthy volunteers to evaluate the safety and effectiveness of a new or marketed drug for different use from which it was originally approved. These drugs have passed the laboratory testing phase and have been deemed safe after testing on animals. A clinical trial has to prove that its benefits outweigh the risks before it is approved by the Health Sciences Authority and Singh Health Centralised Institutional Review Board. These review boards also ensure that volunteers' rights, confidentiality and well-being are protected. Before volunteers can take part in a clinical trial, the doctor will go through the protocol, also known as the trial specifics, and seek the volunteer's agreement. This is part of the informed consent. During this process, the doctor will explain the trial in detail to ensure volunteers thoroughly understand what is involved. Volunteer identification data will be kept strictly confidential throughout and even after the completion of the trial. To have a better understanding of the clinical trial, volunteers can ask the doctor questions such as What is the aim and purpose of this trial? What are the tests and procedures involved? What is the trial duration? How will the trial affect my daily life? What are the possible short-term or long-term benefits and risks? What happens at the end of the trial? Any further concerns can be raised during the one-on-one -on -one session with the doctor. Participation is entirely voluntary and volunteers are able to withdraw at any point in time even after they have consented. After consenting, the volunteers will go through a screening process.
those who meet the selection criteria will be shortlisted for the actual trial. Throughout the clinical trial, drugs are administered according to a specific set of instructions and guidelines. Doctors and nurses will keep a close look on the volunteers to maintain their well-being. Volunteers will be reimbursed for their time and effort. An enormous value of information and knowledge comes from volunteers in clinical trials. Without the help of healthy volunteers like yourself, Medical research cannot progress and medical care cannot improve. By volunteering in clinical trials, you play an important role in advancing scientific knowledge and helping future patients. Right from the start of the trial, I was told that I had the right as a participant to withdraw at any given time should I feel uncomfortable with unpleasant side effects. I felt reassured that I would be well supervised and taken care of by the staff at SingHealth INU. It was a positive experience, the facilities were sufficient and the unit was clean and comfortable. I volunteered to take part in the trial because I knew it would help advance research into medication that benefits patients. The staff were nice and patient, overall a very good experience. The trial did not require too much time and was well managed. I wouldn't mind taking part again. I have enjoyed this experience tremendously among friendly people and in a stress-free environment. I look forward to another similar experience if there's an opportunity again. Like voluntary work, volunteering for clinical trials is a meaningful way to give back to the community. To volunteer for clinical trials or to find out more, about the Singh Health Investigational Medicine Unit, visit our website at www.singhealthimu.com.sg.